Guangxi province in southern China. Until recently, farmers here burned wood for cooking and heating. Now they're leading a sustainable energy revolution. Thanks to some help from a government project supported by EFAD, a UN agency working to adapt technology to the needs of poor rural people, farmers like Cie Oishun are now capturing methane from animal droppings and human waste and using it to produce their own fuel. It all flows into a biogas digester, a large tank buried underground. The waste comes in here and as it ferments inside, the gas builds up and travels back out through this tube. It takes the gas into the house where we use it to cook. In capturing and using methane for cooking and lighting, CA not only has an abundant supply of inexpensive fuel, but he's reducing its global warming effect. At the same time, as waste decomposes inside CA's new biogas digester, he's left with another fuel, an organic fertilizer high in nitrogen. Since applying the fertilizer to my cucumber plants, they've grown much bigger than before when I use chemicals. They even taste better. Although biogas technology has been available in China for decades, a growing income gap between city dwellers and farmers has fueled its recent revival. In the last two decades, 200 million rural people have moved to China's cities. One of the ways the central government is trying to make rural life more appealing is by offering farmers cash incentives to build biogas digesters so that they can produce their own fuel cheaply. Since Leo Shun Sian's family began producing biogas on their farm, she no longer spends three hours a day collecting wood for cooking. Instead, she's taken training that's helped her make improvements to the family's tea farm, which now earns more money. Thousands of farmers across the province have done the same, contributing to a drop in rural poverty, according to IFAD. This project started in 2001, and three years later, we could see that overall the households have moved up from, from poverty to low income and even out of poverty. We, after three years, we observed already that about 10% had already moved on, so about 20,000 households. Thanks to government financial incentives and education tours like this one supported by IFAD, there are now three million biogas tanks in operation across Guangxi, making the province the largest producer of biogas in China, if not the world. As each one routes animal and human waste into biogas digesters, they not only prevent vast amounts of methane from escaping into the atmosphere, but an estimated 8 million tons of standard coal and 13 million tons of firewood from being burned each year. Making Guangxi one of the greenest provinces in China. This is James here of IFAD TV for CNN World Report.